Here's an example of a system of equations that I want to solve. And um, I'm going to choose to use the substitution method. Now, I could use any method, substitution, graphing, or elimination. I would not use the graphing method to solve these. I would either go substitution or elimination. And I'm going to choose substitution. And again, it's your preference after some point. But I'm going to use the substitution method to show you it. And the goal, um, you know that you want to use a substitution method, or it's easier to, show, to use a substitution method, is when you can isolate one variable in either equation. So can I isolate one variable in either equation? So I'm going to call this equation 1, and I'm going to call this equation 2. So notice that in equation 2, I can isolate I can isolate the variable x by adding 3y to both sides. So now I have x is equal to 3y. Right? Equation 2 just changed into this, right? Adding 3y to both sides. This is 0 plus 3y. So this is a nice easy case. Once that happens, right? Substitution, it tells me exactly what to do. I'm going to take 3y and substitute it in for x into the other equation. Substitution, right? If I can say that x is equal to 3y, then if I write x, it's the same thing as writing 3y. So now I used equation 2 to represent this situation and isolate x, so I'm going to use equation 1 to do my substitution. 5 times x, which is now 3y, plus 2y is equal to 0. And then simplify. 15y plus 2y is equal to 0, or 17y is equal to 0. Divide both sides by 17. y is 0. Now, technically I'm not done because I only found one um, coordinate. I'm able to actually solve for y. That means that this system has a solution. It has one solution. So it's that situation where the lines intersect at one point. So it's going to be a uh, consistent independent solution or independent system. Consistent independent system, that situation where the two lines intersect. There is a point of intersection. But I, I don't know the rest of the point. I only have one half of it, right? My solution is an ordered pair because it's a system of two um, variables. And I have the second part of this ordered pair. I need the first part. But once I have y, I can find x. And, you know, I usually go straight from here. x is equal to 3y, so x is equal to 3 times y, which now I know is 0. Therefore, x is 0. So this is a nice, easy one. Consistent independent system, the solution is 0, 0, which is the um, uh, one solution. It's the intersection of the two lines at the origin.